I started Club B back in 2007 because in the late 90s and the early part of the last decade, I was doing a venture capital firm called Sherpa Partners. And we were putting our CEOs of the portfolio companies together and other CEOs that we had in our universe. So I saw firsthand the power of putting good, bright people who are doing interesting things together. Club Entrepreneur was a way to do that for the business community here in town and a way to help create opportunities for folks to meet peers and learn and um, benefit from those relationships, as well as for people to make productive relationships, as I call them, folks that might turn into customers, people that might turn into employees, investors, distributors, partners, co-founders, and then last but not least, actionable content. I wanted people to get something out of the meetings so they could go back to their office that afternoon and do something better within their own world and at their own company. I utilize the sponsors in a couple of different ways. I try to first and foremost give them an opportunity to develop relationships with the community without it coming off as too much like a commercial. So I want them to have opportunities to interact with, develop relationships, and, and convey their domain expertise without it having to be a, a front and center commercial. So for instance, with uh, a number of the folks, I give them speaking opportunities on panels uh, with other people. Sometimes I'll have them do the introductions. So if the topic area fits in with their world, I'll have them do the introduction for the speaker. And then lastly, I try to personalize how I interact with them. And so I try to convey almost like a case study with the audience on the projects that I'm working with the sponsors on. So the audience hears about my personal experiences with the sponsors specific to real live projects where we're interacting with one another. So I can convey almost like a good housekeeping stamp of approval and talk to them about specific projects and about my experiences so then it doesn't come off uh, like a commercial. The benefits that come to a new community as well as a new group leader for starting a club entrepreneur are twofold. First and foremost, the people in that business community and those companies that are trying to grow within that community have a chance to get new content, new speakers, and new ideas brought to them. I've been doing venture capital, investment banking, and investment research for over 20, 25 years now, and I personally curate and kind of develop the content calendar and so forth. So I'm bringing new speakers, new ideas, and new content to that community, and that kind of fresh blood or tapping into other parts of the overall business community can be helpful. Secondarily, the group leaders get a chance to build their own brand, to build their own identity, to add credibility and visibility to themselves, their firm, and what they do. Club Entrepreneur is really a marketing opportunity for the person who's standing at the front of the room, and that person can sell more of what they're trying to sell, whether it's a product or service. And there's almost a sense of street cred that you get for doing a club entrepreneur uh, group and being at the front of the room leading that group. In the future, Club Entrepreneur can help communities grow by fostering an environment and creating a culture of entrepreneurship, innovation, and job creation. In an era where there's so much division, Club E provides a bipartisan way to help communities foster that kind of environment. Our culture needs more jobs. Our culture needs more high paying jobs. We need to tap into the entrepreneurial spirit of our uh, communities, of our culture, of our country, and those kinds of things are gonna help folks grow. Those kinds of things are gonna help folks create bigger and better companies, and Club Entrepreneur can help foster that.